Thanks for joining me on this edition of Sports Highlights. Approximately 1,000 athletes competed in the USA Masters Indoor Track Championships here at the Prince George's Learning and Sports Center. The three-day event featured master elite athletes, including 12 Olympians and 58 world record holders. Let's take a look at the highlights. Samuelson off on a rough start as she tries to maneuver around the tight curb, leading the way. The 1984 Olympic Women's Marathon gold medalist looks stronger than ever and still running and going strong at age 51. Samuelson will cross the finish line, setting a new American record of 10 minutes and 22.69 seconds. The marathon last uh, spring in the trials, I had said I'll run no more competitive marathons but I never said what constitutes competitive. So then I decided to set my sights on other distances and this winter on a long run I thought, I wonder what I could run a mile in. And so the 3,000 meter made sense. It's obvious to me that I need to do some speed work in order to run really competitive 1,500 and 3,000 meters, which there is no finish line. In the men's 80 to 89 final 60 meter dash, John Means of Over the Hill is out the blocks and Orval Rogers of Dallas are neck and neck in the race. On the women's side, winners of the 80 through 94 age division celebrate their race. In the 60 meter hurdles final, Nagatsi Jerma of Baltimore pulls away with gold in the men's 30 60 meter hurdle final. Women's 40 world record holder Alyssa Harvey dominated the women's 40 mile run. The middle distance sensation two hours later captured the women's 400 meter day. Actually, my goal was to win the race. I'm coming back later on, about two hours to run the 400 meters, so I wanted to run to win, run fast enough to win, but save a little bit for the 400. In the men's mile, SoCal track middle distance star Nolan Shaheed won the men's 55 mile in four minutes and 49.3 seconds. In the women's 400, Leonard of SoCal Track Club broke the world record of the women's 80 400 meter dash and a record time of 2 minutes and 3.80 seconds. World-class coach and athlete Laurie Colbert, who captured the men's 7400 meter dash. The gentleman that I ran against and I won, well, he beat me at the last outdoor national down in South Carolina, down in Georgia. Georgia. And uh, just to compete with him and back on this track, it meant a whole lot. I've won 25 national titles up to this point, but this is the first one that I've competed in in the last nine years. I just started training about six months ago and got back in practice jumping heights well enough to break the world record and being a two-time world champion, coming here and winning just wasn't enough for me. Harvey back on track for a triple Masters victory in the women's 40 800 meter run. She'll win it in 211. On the men's side, Earl Fee of Canada won the men's 75 and Orville Rogers the men's 90. And Sid Howard of Nike Central captured the men's 70 race with a record time of 2 minutes and 33.36 seconds. Marianne Daniel of CT Racewalkers won the women's 50 3,000 meter race walk, crossing the finish line in 15 minutes and 35.71 seconds. It's fun to be among people who try to make themselves better than what they are, and it's, it's just a fun thing. And that concludes this edition of Sports Highlights. Reporting from Landover, Maryland, I'm Deborah Green for Georgetown University Sports. And don't forget, stay in the game. There is no finish line. And for the younger athletes, I would encourage them not to specialize until they're 14 years of age. Golfing is like bowling or golf or anything else. If, if you don't spend a lot of time, a lot of effort, you'll never get to the top. So my advice to young women is to learn what you love it, enjoy it, learn about it, but don't over-train.